sunlight you know is usually between 0.3 microns and 2 microns in terms of wavelengths and uh, glass is transparent to these kind of wavelengths the solar wavelengths and this comes inside the house or inside the car and whatever surface is exposed absorbs these uh, these wavelengths and gets heated up and this heat cannot escape out of the glass because glass does not let these uh, this radiation to go through the type of thin films that we are working with are the ones that are dynamic in the sense that you can change their optical properties it's an extremely uh, thin layer that is applied on uh, on the glass or any other substrate at room temperature nothing happens and the moment it gets heated to certain temperature uh, what happens is that the, the the optical properties change okay and the light or the sunlight starts getting reflected but what we have achieved in our lab is uh, two things one is they are very efficient in terms of the change that they go through when the, the temperature is normal uh, it lets uh, 70 or 80 percent of the light to go through that is at higher temperature uh, it rejects away almost all of that you know so there is no light going through at all or the heat going through at all so this is what is the efficiency and the other thing that is that we have achieved is that we have lowered the temperature uh, to about uh, 45 degrees celsius and we are working on improving uh, at, uh, this temperature or bringing down this temperature e even to uh, around 25 degrees that means the maximum temperature to which uh, the car gets is only 25 degrees. The, there is another application for uh, another kind of thin film that we are uh, producing in the laboratory. If the satellites are covered with the kind of thin films that we, we are proposing, the moment the, the satellite comes, you know, uh, is exposed to the sun, because intense radiation is, uh, 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 heat radiation is hitting it, now very soon the temperature gets to uh, the tra transition temperature or the changing temperature of the satellite and it starts rejecting the heat and the moment it goes in the in, in the shade and the temperature falls below this transition temperature you know again there is absorption so it keeps the heat to itself one of the main advantages of this is that it is not a bulky solution because we are talking about very thin layers maintenant on est en train de développer d'autres types de de couches qui sont statiques c'est-à-dire ça change pas la la propriété optique ce sont des, des couches ou des filtres optiques qui bloquent certaines uh, longueurs d'onde uh, spécifiques. Here we have an example of uh, uh, what is called a smart window. In normal state, it is transparent. That means it lets the light go through. And once the charges, it, once it is charged up, it colors. And when it is completely charged or completely colored, it uh, cuts 100% of the heat part of sunlight. When you work in the laboratory, you know, you usually work on a small scale prototype. And th then uh, to take it to the industry, what is very important is to deposit the same type of film with the same recipe, uh, if you will, uh, on a bigger scale. The support of NBAF has been fantastic uh, because uh, we had already shown that uh, uh, the research that we have done in our laboratory has this potential you know in various uh, applications and nbaf has uh, supported us for to take it to the next level and that's the work that is going on on sera très content si on peut créer certaines compagnies ici soit à moncton ou au new brunswick uh, avec l'aide de ces, ces, ces applications parce que maintenant on est en train de travailler avec uh, cette compagnie lambda guard qui est intéressée de s'installer ici à moncton donc si uh, uh, si on peut uh, uh, compléter le projet uh, des couches minces ou le, le, le filtre optique. À ce moment-là, uh, la compagnie sera intéressée de, uh, de s'installer ici à Moncton et de fabriquer les couches minces.